definitely catchable and one would have been a touchdown certainly so Davis Webb is in Webb has 44 career touchdown passes that's seventh all time at Texas Tech started 14 games eight last year day he's one of the more explosive players on the inside it's very difficult to block him pass by Webb is on the money short of the first down basis third down and one Webb's pass is caught again by Austin to first down and talking he did have a drop uh, DeAndre Washington a good player but he's been kept in check Webb airing it out and it's broken up at the last second by Reed intended for Tony Brown struggles with they understand his limitations and they're going to roll with him. That's an open in the middle of the field. That's him being chased from behind and they catch up to him at the 25 yard line. Well the problem is they just don't have this game. Third down and six Webb off his back foot incomplete. It'll be fourth down. By the way just looking at open up his length. The thing that would bother me as a quarterback would be throwing around it. On fourth down it's a first down catch by Batson. I mean, heights of defense alignment when you get into a, a game. And a guy that's 6'9, he almost takes away 30 to 40% of the quick passing game to his side. Webb to the end zone for a touchdown to Jonathan Giles. Play some with the injury to Mahomes and come out and lead the team right down the field. And this is against the starting defense for Baylor. First touchdown. Texas Tech ball inside the five yard line. They're going to run it here. And Justin Stockton is tackled at the 11 yard line. All right, time to take a look to that. at the beginning of the year. We all thought it was going to be Baylor TCU. Underneath route, Austin on the catch out to the 20. And I say that with 40 points on. And that's the question. Right, because exactly. Webb's pass wide open is Tony Brown into Baylor territory. Guys, I don't know that honestly we've learned anything defensively about Baylor today. And. and is the question that happened in both of the games that they lost last year, seeing complete pass, was at West Virginia and it's this offseason with, and I think that's going to be the difference for them this year. Webb on the rollout steps up, throws incomplete. Because what that does, Dave, is it protects that defense. If they're going to be able to get answered, is how they would handle a front four or a group of front seven that are deep and talented and can get them off schedule. As we see the pass interference call coming here in the end zone. Or excuse me, uh, Reginald Davis interfered with by Ryan Reed. I don't know about that one. I look like he got it here. He, he did arrive just before the ball got there. Webb trying the end zone again. Just overthrown and complete. Tried to hit Davis. Looks like Greasy got real silent there and brought up uh, the, the big one over Michigan as Grant's out of bounds. Conversation with a demanding win over Georgia, 38 10. Webb in trouble on third down and 10. And almost caught. Got behind two defenders, incomplete. But still have to capitalize. So you still got to bank on a team that's been there as often as they have that they're going to be a contender at the end. On fourth and 10, an incompletion, no flag down.